Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping with Natalie, or welcome to if you are new. Today we are here at Corey Stevens, and we're just uh, kind of checking it out, how they do VSH testing, and so we're going to try and get some video clips to just kind of follow along. I have no idea what this is going to look at like, actually, um, but we're just trying to help out, and so right now we're looking for some brood frames. I've got my dad here with me. I don't think he's <laughs> barely ever been on video. That's exactly why. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Corey trusted us enough to come over here and start working one of his hives. I don't know why, but we're just looking for some brood frames to test. And so he was kind of explaining it to us. So there's the queen. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we don't want that frame, and also I don't see any brood on there. So we're looking for a brood frame that is basically they're just starting to hatch or um, emerge, correct? And it looks like he was kind of opening up some of the cells, see what they look like inside there. He's got feisty bees, but it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, it is a little early here. So how's that one look? Here's another thing too, like, look here. Do you see what's going on here? Look at that, see how they're open? Mm -hmm. They're inspecting drone cells and some of them they'll throw out. These they've recapped. You can see their eyes are stuck through there still. You can see the purple eye through the cap. And then some of them are wide open. That's the VSHB is just uncapping and recapping. And, and if there's something wrong with them or they're sick, they'll throw them outside. So are you looking for worker yes. brood or drone? Yes, brood? that's perfect. See how it's past purple? And it's starting to get a little bit of color to it, like right here. Yeah. That's ideal. So if you pull a frame and you, you scratch several and you're seeing that, we should be good. Okay. Especially if you're seeing them like emerging and coming out, those are ideal. So we'll just brush it off and throw it in our nuke box here. And Right now we're looking for brood that is just about to emerge. So we want to give the mites every opportunity to reproduce because we're basically going to quantify the bees' ability to suppress mite reproduction. Okay. So we're just pulling brood frames and we label them with the uh, n the hive number, so we know, you know, if we find one that well, either way, we know who scores what. And so we're just digging through and pulling brood frames, and then we'll take it inside.
but see there were a few that were coming out and so I know like there's gonna be a, a lot of them in that area that are gonna be the right age.